White is my color, for sure, for certain. It's the sky and the clouds and the ocean and the waves. Blue and white, it's royalty. And it's hanging on back history a long, long time ago. But how do we have a flag? How do we have a flag for Israel that is blue and white children? I know the American flag has 13 stripes and 50 stars, but they're different than this star. This star has six sides and two stripes. How is that? How did that happen? Well, a long time ago, long time ago, more than 100 years ago, about 130 years ago, long time ago, there was a gentleman named David Wolfson. He was chairing the first Jewish Congress in Basel, in Europe. And as they were preparing, as Mr. Herzl was about to come and address the big union, they realized, they knew that they didn't have a flag yet. How are we going to fly anything? What are we going to put on the banister? What are we going to show? How are we going to talk about a Jewish nation if we don't have a flag? Ah, Mr. Wolfson said, I know how. I'm going to take my talit, my prayer shawl, and I am going to make it into a flag. Well, Mr. Wolfson's talit had many stripes, but that didn't stop him. Okay, many stars, and I am going to stick a star of David on it, he said, and that would be our flag. No one is going to argue that the talit with the Star of David is not going to be the proper thing. Hence, he took his talit, he hung it over the banister, and that became the Israeli flag. It took some years, it took some votes, it took some work to do, but finally, in 1940, after Israel became a state, it became the official flag, blue and white. Long, long time ago, in biblical time, they thought that blue was a royal color, the place where God lived. So they definitely wanted blue for the sky. And they also looked at the triangles. See the triangles? One is looking up and the other one looking down. Well, up, what do you think, boys and girls? Up is for the sky, for the heavens. And down is for all the humans. So they took the up star, the up triangle, and the down triangle, and they joined it together into what we know as the Star of David. Very cool. So we are going to make some fun flags. You can use anything you have at home. You can have just a plain piece of paper and just make the marking with magic markers or crayons, or you can do something a little fancier. So I took this paper towel roll, the tube, and I wrapped paper around it and some fancy ribbons. I'm going to make a noise maker with chickpeas. You know about chickpeas? Chickpeas make the best hummus ever. Tomorrow we're going to make hummus and you can also share it with mom and dad, this delicious hummus. So I'm putting this chickpeas into the tube. I stapled the bottom. And it should not up a little more. There we go. Now I'm going to staple the top and close them in. One, two, three. We're going to have a noisemaker and a flame at the same time. There. So this is my pole, has already nice markings. I'm going to take a plain piece of paper. See, just a paper from mom and dad's desk. There we go. We have two stripes, two strips of ribbon. 
I'm going to glue it right on top of this plain page, white page, any paper. I'm gonna use some glue, right there. A little more on the other strips. If I can place it. Super. Now I need a star in the middle, right? So I took this shorter strip and I'm going to glue it in the shape of a star. Ready? This is a triangle. And on top of it is one triangle. And on top of it, I'm going to put the other triangle. Because we need two triangles for the Israeli flag. We need two triangles for the Star of David. Here we go. One, two, Here we go, stick, stick little ribbons, terrific, here we go. What do you think? Working on it, right? Now we're going to connect it to our lovely polo there. Staple here, staple there. Another stapler and more white and blue, and we got it. Here we are. I connected our flag, it dried a little bit. We have a noisemaker and a flag and we can wave our white and blue and make noise as we wave it. So we say, Yom Ha'atzma'ut Sameach. Say it, Yom Ha'atzma'ut Sameach. Independence Day. Just like we have 4th of July, in, on July 4th here in America, we have Israel Independence Day coming up soon, the end of the month. It's Israel's birthday. It's going to be the 72nd birthday, 72 years old. But this flag, and let's make some more flags. We have this banner flags. See them? I'm going to make lots of them. You can make them at home. We have the shape. We drew it on a paper, like a long triangle. We got two pieces of ribbon going down and two triangles again for the center. So we're going to make one right now. Got the glue, got the ribbon. We're going, we're ready. Very easy. One stripe. Second stripe. Here are my stripes. I'm gonna put two triangles, right? One pointing up and the other one pointing down. Let's go. One up, pointing to God. And one down, pointing to earth, to us. The middle is where the connection is. We 
go. So this cool idea is that we're going to put our banners on a ribbon, just like that. Going to simply glue it or staple it. Chick chuck. This will be decoration for our party, right? We're gonna have a super birthday party in a few days. Look at this. Very cool. I'm gonna do one more. So you'll see. You can make as many as you wish. Because white paper, you can color it with crayon, you can put ribbons, whatever you wish. But this will make a great party decoration. What colors I'm using, guys? Blue and white. Look at this. How cool is that? I'm gonna decorate it all over the place. We're gonna have so much fun at our party. I'm looking forward to that. All the way. Everyone say Kahol Velavan. Kahol Velavan. What do you think Kahol is? Oh, it's blue. Kahol Velavan. Blue and white. And what else we can do? We can even take an old napkin that mommy doesn't need anymore or an handkerchief. You can glue the backs. Or you can put a tape, just like this, put a masking tape. I'm going to glue, what? What do you think is missing in the middle? I have the two stripes already. What's missing? The triangles, here they are. We've got two felt triangles. One is going up, facing God. The other one going down. So let's go glue it up. Very simple. You can use Elmer's glue, or you can use any other glue that you can create at home. And here we go. I'm going to have so many decorations for the party. I'm so happy. Look at this one. How cool is that? Very much. And then I found a tall stick, right there. I found a tall stick down in my storage. I said, hmm, that will be a great flag pole. So I'm going to tape my flag to the stick. Then I'm going to raise it with pride because Israel is the homeland of the Jewish people. It's the homeland of the Jewish people. So we're going to celebrate. Why do we celebrate? Because it's a home for all Jewish people and for all people around the world. Everyone loves Israel. Everyone loves Israel so much. And we do too. I'm going to tape it. You can take an handkerchief from dad or an old napkin mommy doesn't need. Just make your own flag. You can even put crayons on it. You can draw it on it with markers and crayons and celebrate as well. Remember last year we made a parade in the building. Everyone had blue and white flags. Well, we're going to have a parade at home. Why not? So I'm making my big flag for my parade at home. What do you think, guys? Woo! I love it. Kachor velavan. Zad degel sheli. It's my flag and your flag. 
and the flag of all Jewish people all around the world. And all people should live in peace and harmony and stay healthy, blue and white. Happy birthday, Israel. Yom Huledet Sameach. Kachol v'lavan. זה הדגל שלי. כחול ולבן. זה הדגל שלי. White and blue is my flag. I'm going to celebrate on Israel's birthday. So exciting. כחול ולבן. Shelly, Cahol, Bella, Von, Tive, Atmat,